Tempo. Hello my Aquarian friends, it's Guiding Halo. Let's see what's coming in for you first week of October. Money, Finance and Career, October 1st to 7th. Money, Finance and Career, first week of October. Renewal, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. So you might be changing your direction or your focus. The moon card, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So something more going on here that meets the eye. I feel that you're all up in your feelings about something, wondering if there's a chance of doing something you used to do in the past for money, finance, and career, wondering if there's a chance to renew and maybe even a business partnership or a relationship in some sort of way, but you're wondering what's going on behind the scenes that you don't see. I feel like your intuitive nudges are, are coming on strong. What do the angels have to say about this? Patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. So there's something about watching, learning, waiting to see what culminates or happens out of a circumstance or a situation you've been in. That's what I'm getting here. All right. Let's pull some tarot on this, shall we? Money, finance, and career. For my Aquarius friends. Money, finance, and career for my Aquarius friends. Tell me about this renewal, please. Tell me about this renewal. I'm just going to adjust the camera. Okay. Tell me about this renewal, please. So an opportunity the divine is giving you, you may actually not want to take, I have a feeling. Or perhaps this is a missed opportunity that comes back around. We have not feeling sure about the circumstance, feeling... Like you're a wounded warrior, you're not sure if you can handle it, not sure if you want to go back down that road. I think this is a, a renewal of your own spirit, perhaps. There's some sort of judgment going on here that creates a, either movement forward or movement backwards to an old cycle. I think you want to be part of a team player in a circumstance. You could be pitching an idea or... Um, proposal of some sort to too many cards a proposal of some sort to work um, for a job for contractual agreement uh, maybe you're a contractor or a consultant going inward there's something about really being wise about the decision that you make moving forward I almost feel that that this is like down a road that you're not so sure you have the strength for now I don't have cards in reverse in this deck but it came out reversed so I don't usually take reversals it's going to take some sort of strength and courage for sure I don't know if you feel like you can do that but it's all based on a very solid offer here with the pentacle ace of pentacles coming in it's something you can really take to the bank and grow I almost wonder if there's something to do with going into business with a romantic partner or somebody that you've been in relationship in the past with and you're not so sure if you want to do that maybe you don't want to see these people every day maybe something 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 I think you also see the courage and strength that it's taken somebody to get through to a place of this offering I almost feel like you're you're the person in charge here to a certain extent in charge over this opportunity tell me about the moon card please 
You could be dealing with a Leo and a Virgo. Um, the Moon card, an opportunity coming in. This is a bigger opportunity than you think it is. It's something that can really help you grow and succeed. There's some sort of patience involved, however. Um, an opportunity, someone may call you and ask about meeting for, like on a coffee break. And some sort of communication is going to be had. I feel as though somebody could get a raise, an absolute big promotion. I almost don't know if, if you want the responsibility that's involved in it, I guess. It takes a lot of wisdom and maybe you've got a lot going on in other areas of your life that you may not have the energy for that. Temporary pause and action, seeds well planted, unnecessary worry. I wonder if something happened behind the scenes or at work where you had to have a review and evaluation of work done and maybe you were less than happy with it. But there will be new opportunities come out of that circumstance. Someone may have said too, like, I'm not doing this job no more. Like, maybe you're concerned about whether you will want to do something or take up an opportunity here. So we have seeing all that no longer serves you and cutting things out of your life that don't bring a new way of joy and peace. We have deciding if you want to invest any further. A truth that needs to be spoken or communication that needs to be had will absolutely be a victory for you. Absolutely. I feel like you really should consider it though because it is a very big opportunity. Somebody I think that you feel is kind of cold and calculating. And if this has been going on all behind the scenes, like why is it that it's not been brought out sooner? Wow, look at that. This is really an opportunity that you can take to the bank. I'm telling you what. You have an opportunity to follow your creative endeavors. You have an opportunity to, to have a long-standing commitment or a long-standing job offer, a long-standing promotion, something that you won't lose. Maybe it's something you've been waiting for for a long time, and now that it's here, there's question based around it. What's the moon card representing? The hangman mode. Yeah, it's not, you're asking the divine for clarity about which way to move forward and what to do. Patience. Tell me what the patience energy is about, please and thank you. What is it you're needing to have patience with? Looking at your options. I feel like also this could be asking for what it is you want. Asking for what it is you desire. Not turning something down just because, you know, it doesn't look as you wanted it to look. But asking for the contract or negotiations to, while you're in negotiations, to have, have the ability to work things out so that it can be what looks best for you and what looks best to your, for your family, whatever family that is. It will bring you a lot of joy, and I feel like it has something to do with your creativity, your creative spirit, and the truth about what it is you want and what it is you desire moving forward. That's what I feel that's about. That's the energy I'm getting with this. It's like a... a now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. I feel like you're going to become the teacher of what you've been learning all of this time. And maybe that's what is the offer. Maybe you're um, going to be training somebody at work or teaching a course at a college about what it is you do. And maybe that takes you completely out of your comfort zone and you need to have strength and courage to see yourself as that type of person. To see yourself as fitting the opportunity, perhaps. Let's pull a postcard from Spirit and see what they have to say about this for you. Postcard from Spirit for my Aquarian friends, please. 
Dearest you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday moment-to-moment -moment experience, thinking you will find happiness out there someday? So many go chasing a magic it out there, but it never could be found there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy. What made you is pure joy, and every time you wake up and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside you. Joy and happiness and fullness come from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it, and lighting it in your heart so you can share it. You must know this so when the time comes, you will fully be fully free and your joyful being and actions will turn you into a beacon of starlight. Look within and be joyful, even for tears of loss, for they mean you have lived, really lived. Jump into it all and love every minute. We all love you like crazy over here. I hope this helps somebody. I hope it resonates in some way. I love you guys. Blessings to you.